All right, y'all. So I've been having quite a few uh, questions about uh, this particular page here. I'm going to zoom out. It's the eliminating the denominator. So um, I tried my best. I tried to find a really good pencil. And this one obviously is not that. But let's just move on. So in order to get rid of the uh, denominator, you have to multiply everything in this little area by the same. So you multiply a uh, denominator by itself and you get rid of them both. But what you do to one side, you must do to the other. So you're multiplying this by positive four as well. So you go and do your order of operations. Let's just do this one first. So you've got uh, four times negative six. That right there gets you a, what is it y'all? Drum roll please, negative 24 equals. Now you do your distribution method. Oh my God. My grandmother's being so loud. And I'm sorry, no, you don't do your distribution method. You just go like this, negative 5x minus 4. Because once these over here cancel out, then they cancel each other out. And then you just add a plus 4 here, positive 4 here. And this is the same thing we've done before. These cancel each other out. And then you've got here negative 20. So negative 5x equals negative 20. If we're going to get x by itself, we must divide it by itself. And you end up with x equals 4. Because negative 20 divided by negative 5 gives you a positive 4. And this is your answer. That's how you solve this particular problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another one since it's really difficult to do this and like sort of talk at the same time. Let's go ahead and come down here to the very bottom. It's going to be the last one, number 12, on this particular page. So remember, you create your parentheses here and you multiply everything by negative 2, right? Come over here and you do the same thing. So this is what it looks like. You take your pencil, scratch this out, scratch that out, and all you're left with is negative 2x minus 2. But over here, negative 2 times 3 gives you a negative 6. So let's go ahead and bring this down right here. And you end up with negative 2x minus 2. Or to get x by itself, you have to add a 2 to both sides. You end up with negative 4 equals negative 2 x. In order to get x by itself, you're going to have to divide it by itself, which is a negative 2. You come over here, you do the same thing, negative 2, and you have x equals 2, because negative 4 divided by negative 2 gives you a positive 2. All right, y'all, so that's how you do that particular page. Uh, I will show you how to do, let's see, this one tomorrow. I feel like this one is giving y'all a little bit of trouble. I've got a couple of emails about this, but it literally I will show you, it says rise over run. You're going to be dividing this number here by that number there, and you're coming over here and you're trying to figure out which one is equal. So if you end up with 40 over eight equals five, because you divide, which other triangle gives you a five? And that's C. So when you come down here to this one, you've got 9 divided by 3. That gives you 3. So which here does the same thing? That's what you're doing for the rest of these.